in Dublin have begun a murder investigation after a man died in a gun attack at a restaurant in Blanchardstown last night. The man in his 40s was shot and seriously injured. The suspected gunman was attacked at the scene and sustained fatal stab injuries. A man has been arrested in connection with the gang-related murder of a 26-year-old man in a restaurant in Dublin on Christmas Eve. Tristan Sherry died after he was assaulted and stabbed during a gun attack at Brown's Steakhouse in Blanchardstown. Detectives believe this gun attack and murder is gang-related and connected to an ongoing drugs and gun feud. Both victims are known for involvement in serious and organised crime, but tensions remain high in this area. Threats have been made online and money has been offered by people from one side for information on their rivals on the other. Garda are bracing themselves for potential retaliatory strikes expressing genuine concern that innocent individuals may become ensnared in a full-blown feud between rival gangs tied to a Christmas Eve shooting at a Dublin steakhouse. The alarming incident unfolded at the popular family restaurant Brown Steakhouse in Blanchardstown, West Dublin, resulting in the death of both the suspected gunman, 26-year-old Tristan Sherry, and intended target Jason Hennessy Sr. Sherry is believed to have specifically targeted a father and son enjoying dinner together, Friends and family members at the venue intervened, managing to tackle Sherry, and he suffered fatal injuries, allegedly from being stabbed nearly 30 times, as reported by Irish media. Both Sherry and the victim have prior police records related to their alleged involvement in the drug trade. Sherry was reportedly associated with a local drug trafficking gang led by Mr. Flashy, known for its involvement in multiple violent incidents in the area over recent years. A source informed Irish media that investigating a potential link between the attack and the Mr. Flashy gang is a significant line of inquiry. The shooting, described as a botched yet extremely reckless incident, occurred in a restaurant where several children were present, heightening the potential for serious injuries to other patrons. Meanwhile, the other individual who lost his life is a 47-year-old man who was dining with several family members when the horrifying ordeal unfolded around 8 p.m. on Christmas Eve. He was undergoing treatment at Connolly Memorial Hospital, where he later lost his life on January 4th, having sustained at least one gunshot wound to the neck. Garda are expressing significant apprehension that innocent civilians might become entangled in a broader feud sparked by the shooting. The concerns arise as one gang member has purportedly offered a reward of over Euro 1000 for information regarding the whereabouts of rival gang members. According to a single source, threats seem to be pervasive prompting guards to fear a substantial escalation in the ongoing feud. The general public in the area is now being urged to disclose the location of a rival gang member in exchange for cash. This arrangement is presented as a no-questions-asked scenario, but there's a catch. Those who possess such information may inadvertently place themselves and their families in jeopardy. Giving up this information could lead to the individual becoming a target for the gang, as they may be perceived as effectively informing on them. This not only puts them at risk, but also endangers their families. Additionally, by cooperating, individuals might unknowingly become involved in a criminal act, potentially drawing the attention of law enforcement, with guards possibly knocking on their doors if there are repercussions from the shooting. Irish Justice Minister Helen McEntee has strongly condemned the recent attack, believed to be connected to an ongoing feud in West Dublin responsible for numerous assaults. The severity of the violence has led to unimaginable human suffering this Christmas, particularly disturbing given the context of families gathering together. Minister McKenty expressed deep concern over the perpetration of such violence, extending sympathy to the bereaved, those present at the scene, and all emergency service personnel working during the Christmas period, who had to confront senseless violence. Multiple sources have indicated a link between the horrific attack and a feud in the West Dublin area. The feud, ongoing since 2019 involves a highly serious drugs gang based in Cordoff, engaged in conflict with a Finglas-based drugs gang led by Mr. Flashy. This rivalry has resulted in numerous shootings and fire attacks on homes and cars, creating a dangerous environment. Notably, there was even an incident where a man was attacked with a machete inside a police station. Warnings had been issued that it was only a matter of time before a murder occurred, and unfortunately, it has now happened. Tristan Sherry, known to the police for his involvement in crime, especially his ties to organized criminals, was a key figure in this violent scenario. 
The situation underscores the urgent need for efforts to address and curb the escalating violence associated with this feud. It seems that the sequence of events involved the assailant entering and firing shots at two men. However, the situation took an unexpected turn as the uninjured man managed to overpower and beat the attacker, ultimately resorting to stabbing him. Outside, occupants of an Audi, presumably realizing the plan had gone awry, hastily departed. This marks an escalation in retaliatory actions on both sides of the feud involving organized crime gangs, particularly those specializing in drug trafficking. Complicating matters further is the intricate web of affiliations in this feud, with individuals switching allegiances between gangs. Videos capturing the aftermath of the attack circulated on social media, revealing diners seeking shelter under tables, screaming in distress. A spokesperson for the police noted that the incident resulted in injuries to a man in his 20s, underlining the volatile nature of the ongoing feud. The second male, aged in his 40s, later died after his condition worsened over a number of days, after he was hit with bullets from a machine pistol. In response to the situation, the police have heightened uniform patrols in the Dublin region, bolstered by armed patrols, including the guard armed support units. Residents in Blanchardstown have shared accounts of the profound impact the shooting has had on their community, highlighting the gravity of the incident. The increased police presence is a proactive measure to address concerns arising from the incident and to maintain public safety in the affected area. In a recent update to the case, Michael Andrecut, a 22-year-old man, has been charged with the murder of Tristan Sherry at Brown's Steakhouse in Blanchardstown on Christmas Eve. Andrecut, residing at Sheep Hill Avenue, Dublin 15, appeared before Dublin District Court to face a single charge of murdering Tristan Sherry on the evening of December 24th. During the court proceedings, Garda Sergeant Mark Murphy from Blanchardstown Garda Station provided evidence of the arrest, charge, and caution of Andrecut. He informed Judge Stephanie Coggins that Andrecut was arrested for the purpose of charging at Blanchardstown Garda Station at 11.42 p.m. on Friday the 29th of December. Subsequently, the accused was formally charged with the offense of murder at 11.47 p.m. The court proceedings shed light on the legal steps taken in connection with the tragic incident at Brown's Steakhouse. Upon being cautioned, Andrecut opted to remain silent. Sergeant Murphy requested an adjournment of the case to Cloverhill District Court. Brian Tunney, acting on behalf of Andrecut, proposed a postponement until January 2nd and requested that the proceedings be conducted via video link on that date. Tunney also submitted an application for legal aid, providing a statement of means on behalf of his client. Andrecut maintained silence throughout the proceedings. Judge Coggins remanded Andrecut in custody until January 16th. Legal aid was granted to the defendant. These legal proceedings highlight the procedural steps taken in response to Andrecut's involvement in the case, including arrangements for future hearings and the provision of legal representation. A second man has been charged over the killing of a gunman who was tackled and fatally assaulted after he opened fire in a steakhouse in Dublin on Christmas Eve. David Amma, 18, appeared in court on the 5th of January charged with murdering Tristan Sherry at a restaurant in Blanchardstown. Mr. Amma from Hazel Grove, Portrain Road, Donabate, Dublin, was brought before Blanchardstown District Court charged with murder. Judge Mayor Keneally heard Garda evidence of the accused's arrest charge and caution. Garda Sergeant Emma Ryan said she arrested Mr. Ama for the purpose of charging him at Fingless Station. Mr. Ama made no reply when charged in her presence at 6.08 p.m. and was handed a copy of the charge sheet, she said. Bail doesn't arise, Judge Connolly said, as bail can only be granted in the High Court on a murder charge. The accused was remanded in custody to January 9th. Only the High Court can grant bail in Ireland on murder charges. Meanwhile, Wayne Deegan of Linnetsfield Avenue, Fibblestown, Dublin 15, was charged with assault causing harm of Mr. Sherry, violent disorder and producing a knife on the same date. Detective Garda Sean Kelly told the court Mr. Deegan was charged in Blanchardstown Garda Station just after midnight on Friday the 5th of January, and that he made no reply. There was no application for bail, but the accused's legal representative, Sandra Frain, said she may make an application when Mr. Deegan appears again on January 9th. The accused was granted legal aid after the judge heard he is not working and is in receipt of disability benefit. Judge Keneally remanded him in custody to January 9th, when he will also appear in Cloverhill District Court. This concludes our report for the week. I will continue to provide updates on this case as more evidence unfolds. 
Your support is appreciated, so please like and comment as it greatly contributes to the channel. I look forward to connecting with you in the next video. Thank you for watching.